everybody and welcome. My name is Heidi for anyone who is new. If you are new to yoga, just be mindful of what you can do. You never want to push to a point of pain. So always listen to your body and let that guide you. All right, so we are going to do a vinyasa flow. So moving with our breath um, at any time, if you need to come down to child's pose, that is always available to you. You never have to wait for me to cure it. All right, so starting in our child's pose today. So child's pose is such a nice pose to start with. And of course, child's pose, you can come to at any time throughout the practice. If you feel like you need an extra rest, of course, just come into it. So as you come into your child's pose, bring your big toes together, take your knees a little wider, reaching your sit bones down towards your heels. If it's there for you, resting your forehead on the mat. Just taking this moment to come into your practice. Take a moment to quieten down the mind. Take a moment to switch off from your day. Take a moment to check in with the body. Acknowledging any tight spots that you might have. And then on your exhale, letting them go. Bringing your awareness to your breath. As you breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Starting to make the inhales a little deeper. The exhales a little longer. As you inhale, breathe all the way down into that bottom part of the lungs. And then as you exhale, press all the air out. And then from here, we'll slowly lift the hips up. Bring the knees back underneath your hips, feet directly behind. And then we'll stretch our arms out a little bit further as we come into our puppy pose. So as we come into our puppy pose, we're just working on melting our heart towards the ground. If it's there for you, maybe you'll again rest the forehead, or maybe it's the chin, or maybe it's the sternum. Depending on how open you are here. Slowly lift the chest up, walk the hands over to one side, and then start to lean into the opposite. Just getting a nice stretch through that side body, stretching out all those little muscles in between the rib cage. it up, walk it over to the opposite side, start to drop it down as you feel as if you're pulling away, stretching out through that opposite side. Up. Walk the hands back towards you so you bring them back underneath your shoulders. And then we're going to turn the hands so that the thumbs point out and the fingers face towards you. So we're just going to take a moment here to warm up through the wrists, warm up through the forearms. So you can just rock back and forth as you feel that stretch. 
and then just hold it. Keep pressing the hands into the mat. Good, let's shift it forward. Turn the fingers out. And then we're going to start to make some really big circles here. So we shift all the way down to one side and then shift it to the other. We'll go three times one way and then three times back the other way. Good. From here, I want you to turn your hands so that the palm is up, the back of the hand is down, the thumbs will point towards each other now, and then if it's there for you, you'll start to straighten the arms. Don't worry if you aren't, aren't able to straighten the arms. Good, and then release it. Let's interlace all our fingers, make it a little tight fist here, and then we'll make some circles here. So going one way, and then going back the other. Good, release your hands down. Bring your knees back underneath your hips, you're gonna tuck your toes under, we'll press back into our downward facing dog. So our first downward facing dog, keep the heels lifted, keep the knees soft. As you press your hands into the mat, press the floor away, lift your sit bones high to the sky. If you'd like, let's walk it out. So we'll bend one knee and then reach the opposite heel down. Good, changing sides. Good, pick up the pace a little. Rock side to side, bring that movement into the hips, lengthening out those hamstrings and calf muscles. Good, and then walk your feet to the top of the mat. Keep the feet hip width apart, keep the knees soft as you fold forward, release the head. No tension in the neck, no tension in the door. Option to take hold of your Elbows here as you ragdoll, letting gravity do the work. Good, and then release, rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting the head at the top, dropping the shoulders back and down. Lovely. All right, so let's come into our sun salutations. So we'll just do three sun salutations to warm ourselves up. So option to have your feet hip width apart, all feet together. If the feet are together, slight gap in the heels, all right? We want to feel a ground down of the feet, a lifting up of the kneecaps, a switching on of the quad muscles, a lengthening of the tailbone, a drawing in of the belly button, a spreading through the collarbones, a releasing the arms down by your side. Good, gaze just forward. As you inhale, reach to the sky, gaze to the backs of the thumbs. As you exhale, we're gonna fall forward from our hips, soften our knees, release the hands to the ground, release the head. On your inhale, look up, halfway. On your exhale, step back to a high plank, top of a push-up, shoulders stacked on top of your wrists. So our modified version would be to drop down to our knees, keeping the belly button drawing in, keeping the elbows close to the body as you lower down. Point your toes, inhale, lift up, nice gentle cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. A few deep breaths here. In through the nose, out through the nose. As you press your hands into the mat, press the floor away. Lift your sit bones high to the sky, getting nice and long in the spine. So just send that weight towards your legs. Good. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, look up, halfway. As you exhale, fold forward. 
On the inhale, eyes lift away, body follows, arms with up, palms touch. On your exhale, fold forward, release the head and hands at the bottom. On your inhale, look up, halfway. On your exhale, step or jump back, high plank. If you need to, modify it by dropping to your knees. Otherwise, maintain your plank as you draw your belly button in. Engage your quad muscles. Shift your weight forward. Keep your elbows close as you lower down. Roll over your toes. Inhale, lift up. Nice, gentle cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale to your downward facing dog. A few deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose. Feeling that connection of the hands to the earth as you lift your sit bones high to the sky. As you send the weight towards your legs, if it's there for you, maybe you're starting to straighten them. Feet are hip width apart, heels directly behind the balls of the feet. Good. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. On the inhale, eyes lift the weight, body follows, arms with up, palms touch. On your exhale, fold forward. On the inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, step or jump back, high plank. Lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. A few deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. On the inhale, eyes with the weight, body follows, arms with up, palms touch. On your exhale, fold forward. On your inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, step or jump back, high plank. Lower yourself down. Inhale, roll your toes, lift up, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. On your exhale, draw that knee to your chest. We're going to step that foot forward. We're going to lower that back knee, release that back foot. As we inhale, we'll rise up. So we're going to press down through our feet, lengthen our tailbone, draw the belly button in. You can keep your hands here on the thigh. We'll reach them up to the sky. Gaze forward. Good. Let's take a twist here. Left hand comes to the right knee. You can reach the right hand back behind you. If it's there for you, maybe pick up that back foot. through your center, we'll shift our weight back, lift our front toes up, place the hands down. Now, if you need to bend through that front leg, it's fine. We really want to press down through the heel of the foot as you inhale for length, as you exhale to fold. You feel as if that right thigh bone is plugging back into the socket. Good. All right, so from here, we're going to ground down through our front foot, tuck the back toes under, lift that knee up. From here, we're going to start to shift our weight forward, lifting that back leg up. So we're going to come into a standing splits here. So I want you to draw the belly button in as you bring your torso to your thighs. So bend a little through that standing leg, bend a little through the left leg, and then if it's there for you, start to straighten. Good. Inhale, look up, halfway. Softly step that left foot down. Ground down through the sole of the back foot. As you inhale, rise to your warrior one. Squaring the shoulders to the front of the mat. Sinking into your lunge, drawing the belly button in. Work through the back leg. Good. Exhale through your warrior two. 
Drop the shoulders away from the ears, hug the muscles onto the bones. Nice deep inhale here, and the exhale. Good, we're gonna flip the palm, inhale, reverse our warrior. Stretch out through that side body. Good, let's straighten the front leg. We'll hinge forward, coming into our triangle pose. Left arm extend high, shoulders stuck on top of each other. Really working through the legs. Feels if you're spiraling the right inner thigh to the ceiling. Left quad muscle lifts, tailbone lengthens, belly button draws in. Good, inhale, come up. Exhale, sit down into your warrior two. Nice deep inhale here. Option to stay or take your half moon. So with your half moon, you're bringing your right hand down, left foot in front. So then as you come up, the hand is underneath the shoulder. Again, we draw the right shoulder back, stack it on top, sorry, we draw the left shoulder back, stack it on top of the right. Draw the left hip back. Keep the core engaged. You can always have a little softening in that standing leg. Good, let's step it back through our warrior two. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, we'll come through our side arrow, so elbow to thigh. The left arm sweeps up and over. Sink it down into the lunge. Option to extend again as you bring the hand to the ground. Again, maintain the opening through your front body, lengthen through your side body. So try not to let that left arm drop down. And collapsing here. Lift the back leg, press the sole of the foot into the ground. Good. All right, from here, let's pivot. Pivot it onto the ball of the back foot. You bring your left hand to the inside of the right foot. We'll sweep the right hand up to the sky. Coming into a little twisted lunge here. Good. All right, so from here, we're going to pivot our toes to the outside of the mat. Option to stay here or pick up your right foot. Place the ball of the foot down behind the left knee and then pop the hips up as you come through your wild thing. Good. All right, so here we want to pick up that right foot, bring it back to the front of your mat, coming into that lunge. All right, so we're going to straighten through the front leg and then pivot to the outer edge of your mat. So we want to bring our feet to parallel or toes turned in slightly. So you're in a wide leg position here. Hands are on the ground, inhale for length. Exhale to fold forward. Good. Really press down through your feet. Feel that connection of the ball of the foot. Kneecaps are lifting, quad muscles are switched on. Good, inhale, look up, halfway. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, rise up, good. From here, we'll take our arms wide. We'll bring our hands behind us as we interlace our fingers. Inhale, lift the chest, extend the arms back, and then exhale, fold forward. So from the hips, release the head, bend a little through the knees if you need to. Really press down through the feet. Work the legs and then let the hands come up and over behind your head. Good. Inhale. Come all the way up. Good. From here, we'll pivot to the back of our mat. All right, we want to pivot to the ball of that back foot. And then we're just going to lower that right knee down to the ground. Release that back foot. So we're in a low lunge facing the back of our mat. So we're, you can either stay here or reach the hands high. Really press down through the feet, press the hips forward, lengthen that tailbone. Get nice and long through that upper body. Good. 
Good, take a twist if you'd like. Right hand to left knee, left hand reaches back. Stay here or grab hold of that back foot. Good, bring it back through centre. All right, let's shift the weight back. Lift the front toes up. Remember, you can always have that little bend in that front leg. Inhale here, exhale, fold forward. Good. All right, let's shift the weight forward, grinding down through that front foot, tuck the back toes under, lifting the knee up. Let's shift it forward so our back leg lifts. We want to bend the arm through the knee, connect the torso to the thigh. Okay, so you start to lift that right leg a little higher and keep it bent, work it straight. Good, and then let's slowly step it down, sole of the foot down, all right, that 45 degree angle as we inhale, rise to our warrior one, square the shoulders, sink it down into that lunge, we want to feel as if we're spiraling that right inner thigh towards the back of the room, as we work on squaring our hips, good. Exhale through your warrior two. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Really nice and active here. So you sink down into your lunge. Gaze towards the tips of the left fingers. Keep landing the tailbone. Keep drawing the belly button in, lifting up. Good, let's flip the palm. Inhale, reverse it. Pause here, stretch out through that side body. Good. Coming back as we straight through the front leg, hinging into our triangle pose. Again, as you work through the legs, this left hand can float. Right hand reaches, tailbone lengthens. Good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sink down to warrior two. Option to stay or take that half moon. As you bring the left hand down, the foot in front. Start to lift the back leg up. Good. Stack the right shoulder on the left. Right hip draws back. You could always use a block here to lift the floor up. It's another option. Good. All right, let's step it back. Through the warrior two, inhale, exhale to your side angle, elbow to thigh, right arm sweeps up and over, hand to the ground if it's there for you, maintaining that opening through the front body, lengthening through the side body, and let that right hand or shoulder drop. It's better to be up here than to be here. Good, all right, let's take that twist as we bring a right hand down, pivot to the ball of the back foot, the left hand sweeps high as we lift the torso up off the thigh, roll the left ribs towards the ceiling, keep that left knee hugging into your body. Good, all right, let's pivot the feet to the outside of your mat, option to stay. Or pick up that left foot, place it behind the right knee. Inhale, lift the chest up. Extend here, opening through that front body. Beautiful. Let's pick up that foot, step it forward back into that lunge, and then pivot to the outside of your mat. Bring the feet again to parallel or toes turn in slightly. This so time we're going to pistol grip our big toes. Inhale here, exhale to fold forward. Good. Inhale. 
inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, rise to standing. Now keeping your hands on your hips, you want to bring your thumbs around to frame your spine. We want to squeeze our elbows and shoulder blades together as we inhale. And then exhale, we'll fold forward again. So again, from the hips. So again, now we no longer have our hands to support us. We really have to work through our legs. We release the head, no tension in the neck, no tension in the jaw. Keep squeezing the elbows and shoulder blades towards each other. Good. Inhale, arise up. Good. All right, so from here, we're just going to keep it back to the front of our mat. Come through our warrior two. We'll release the hands down to the ground. We'll step back into our high plank. Lower ourselves down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose. Good. All right, let's lift the heels. Bend the knees, step or jump to the top of that mat. I want you to have your feet keep width apart. If not a little wider, turn the toes out a little bit. We're going to sink it down into our yogi squat. So, as we come here, if it's too much on your knees, stay up here. Support yourself. Alright, if it's there for you, lengthen the tailbone to the ground. Lengthen out through the spine. The crown of the head goes towards the ceiling. Hands to heart centre. You can have your um, arms to the inner knees there. Good. Alright, so option is stay here or take a seat or if you want to practice um, your crow pose, this is a good place to start from. So we'll bring our hands to the ground, shoulder width apart, fingers are spread. We want to lift our hips up. We're going to bring our knees to the backs of our arms. Now, if you're unsure about this and you have a block or some pillows, place it down just at the top of your mat, okay? This will just give you that little bit more security. Okay, so as you bring the knees to the backs of the arms, if you can, right up into the underarms, and then that way when you start to shift forward, your shins and knees are resting on the back of the arm. It'll become like a little tabletop. And then see if you can float one foot up, maybe both feet up, and hold it here. Good, and lower it down. Good job. All right, let's lift our hips up. Let's just make a nice little forward fold here. Good. Place the hands down again. Inhale, look up halfway. From here, we'll step out a right, uh, sorry, left foot back. We're going to lower that back knee. Release that back foot. We're going to heel toe our right foot to the outer edge of our mat, turning our toes out. So as the toes turn out, the knee will follow. We get a opening here through the hips. So option is to stay up here on your hands or come down to your forearms. Good. All right, slowly come up. Ground down through your left hand. We'll squeeze our right hand back behind us. We always feel as if like, I like to roll to the outer edge of the feet here. Just letting my hips sink down. Good. Lift it up, come back through the center. 
Heel toe your right foot to the left side of your mat, coming to your half pigeon. So listening to your body, always an option to bring the foot closer to the hip. So that the knee comes down with ease, no pain in it. We want to then work on dropping our left hip, so we screw it off. And taking our right knee to the outside of your mat, so it points out that way. Option to stay up here or lower down onto the forearms. Really good glute stretch here. Slowly come back up. We'll tuck our back toes under, lift that knee up. We'll step our right foot back to meet our left and we'll change sides. So we'll step that left foot forward, take it wide on your mat, turn the toes out, lower the back knee, release the back foot. Remember, option to stay up here on the forearms or on the hands or come down to the forearms. Slowly come up, right hand center of the mat, left hand sweeps back, okay, roll to the outer edges of the feet a little, give yourself some space here, alright, then just start to let the hips sink down. through the centre, heel to the foot to the opposite side of your mat, lower that knee down, if it gets stuck, try bring the foot closer to you, otherwise if this pose isn't there for you, you can always lie down on your back and take a reclined version, All right? also known as a thread the needle. To it. Work on keeping your hips square. Good. Slowly come up. Tuck the back toes under, lift the knee up. Bring the left foot back to meet the right, coming through your downward facing dog. Good. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or jump yourself into a seated position. Bringing your legs out long in front of you. Bring your feet to about hip width apart again. We want to inhale here for length. Exhale, we're going to start to fold forward. So always an option to bend the knees a little. All right, we want to work on keeping our legs through the spine as we fold. If it's there for you, could pistol grip the big toes. Or maybe just place the hands on the ankles or the shins. Try not to round through the spine. Head on a nice long column neck, so think extension of your spine. Good, you hold look up, release the hands, bring the hands back behind you. So fingers are facing forward. So an option here is to bend the knees and ground down through the feet. This is a modified version. You'll lift the hips up, gaze to the ceiling. If you're taking the full version, legs are out long. And then as again, lift the chest and lift the hips, gaze to the ceiling. And then start to bring the toes back down to the ground. It almost feels if you're spreading your inner thighs towards the ground. Hold it here for another three, two, one, and lower all the way down. Good. From here, we'll bring our right knee towards us. Tuck that foot into the inner thigh. Square off through the 
shoulders, inhale for length, exhale, fold as you reach for the foot, the ankle or the shin, finding that length in the spine, working the right knee towards the ground, keeping the right shoulder down. Look up, release, bring your right hand back behind you, ground down through that hand as you pop the hips up. Good. Get nice and open through your front body. Good. And lower it down. Good. From here, we'll lift up our right knee so we can come into a nice little twist here. So we want to inhale for length, keep that right heel as close as you can, and then we'll twist. So we'll bring the right fingertips behind, left arm will cross over that right thigh. So think nice and long in your spine. So you're working on sort of almost bringing your left side of the ribs towards the right leg. Release it, come back to the center, release that leg, change sides. Draw that left foot or knee towards you, tuck the foot into the inner thigh, work the left knee towards the ground. Inhale here, lengthen, exhale, fold. Okay, so grab the foot, ankle or shin, whatever's for you. As you keep that length in the spine, keep that head on a nice long collar neck, keep that left shoulder in line and level with your right. Good. Inhale, rise, reach the left hand back behind you, ground down through that hand. Pop the hips up, reach the right arm up and over, press the hips forward, get nice and open through that front body. Good, and lower it down. Good, all right, lift up that left knee. Let's take that nice little twist. So keep that um, heel as close as you can to that sit bone. Left fingertips behind, right arm crosses over that left leg. Inhale, lift up nice and tall, think nice long spine. And then as you exhale, twist, we bring the right ribs towards the left leg. Flex through the toes on the right foot, keeping that leg active. Good. And then come back through the center. Good job. All right. Bringing the soles of the feet together. Letting the knees drop out to the side. Grab hold of the feet here as you inhale for length. And then as you exhale, start to fold forward. So we want to pull the sternum towards the feet. And you can use the elbows to guide the knees down to the ground. fronts of the sit bones. So if you find that you are sitting back, try rolling up your the back of your mat, creating a little bit of a ledge there to help tilt you forward. Okay, you can try drawing a flesh back or lifting yourself up and tilting your forward. Self forward is another um, action as well. We want to inhale here for length and then exhale, start to fold forward. So again, from the hips, nice long spine. Support yourself on your hands your forearms, if it's there for you to deepen, maybe your forehead, your chin, and your sternum. Good. 
depending on how tight you are. to attach to the sensations that you might be feeling. Rather, allow yourself to be in the pose. Connect your breath, and as you exhale, work on letting go of that tension. All right, let's slowly bring it up. Let's bring our hands underneath our knees, use them to scoop them back together. All right, we're gonna lie down on our backs. Good, all right. We're going to extend our right leg up to the sky. We'll extend our left leg long. Heel comes down. All right, we're gonna reach up and grab hold of the right leg. So that might be behind the thigh, the knee, the calf muscle, the ankle, or maybe you're at a point where you can pistol grip the big toe. As you press the sole of the foot up into the, towards the ceiling, start to press the front of the thigh towards the front of your mat, creating that space in the hip joint. And then if it's there for you, maybe you can pull the leg a little closer. Good, let's release it. We're gonna bend that knee. Let's take a nice little twist here. So drawing the right leg over to the left, keep the right shoulder down, gaze towards our hand. Good, and then bring it back to the center. Lift the hips up, lower them back down, we'll change sides. So we'll extend that left leg long. And we're gonna reach up, take hold behind that leg, or pistol gripping the big toes, whatever's for you. Flex through the right toes, press the heel down. Start to press the front of the thigh towards the front of the room. Create that space, and then start to draw the leg towards you. Good, take the twist, so release the foot, bend the knee, grab hold of the knee with the right hand, start to let it drop over to the right, keep that left shoulder blade down, gaze towards the left side. Good, and then come back through your center. Lift the hips up, lower them back down, right? And then take both legs up to the sky. So option is to stay here, nice gentle inversion. You don't have to do anything else. If you're close to a wall, you could prop yourself up on the wall using that to stabilize you, okay? Or you could take a strap or a belt around the balls of the feet. So if it is there for you, we'll come through our shoulder stand. So engaging our core muscles, we want to lift our legs up and over behind our head, walk onto the shoulders like the little feet, bring the hands to back the support. Engage the core and the quads as you lift your legs high to the sky. We feel pretty a nice straight strong line here where the whole body is stacked on top of itself, where the weight is coming into the upper arms and away from the head of the neck. Keeping the head very still here because you don't want any movement in the neck in this position. Good. All right, let's take the legs up and over behind the head. If it's there for you, if it's not, just stay where you are or roll out. If your feet aren't touching down just yet, keep your hands on the back for support. If the feet do touch down, try putting the toes 
And then if you'd like, you could release the hands. You could interlace the fingers if you'd like. stillness here. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and then sigh out through the mouth. Do that two more times. tension just melt away from your body. As your body releases and relaxes. As it lets go. And just stay here for at least Five to ten minutes if you can. Allowing your body to absorb everything you just did. Thank you for practicing with me. 